Hello and welcome to another stream DIY tutorial and just to quickly get it out of the way and um, we had issues with Happy Kraken's half of this recording so just to get it out as quick as possible I'm now recording her half so I'm going to be having this conversation with my past self. Um, anyway, strap yourselves in. We have a audio, 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 audio tutorial today. And we're going to explain how we both get our single microphone to not only work on a two PC setup, but we're going to do it over your network uh, free of charge without a physical mixer um, and any filters or voice change effects or sound effects or anything like that that you want to be applied will be applied over both machines. So just quickly to explain how our two PC setups are, are set up, basically, because it is quite different to how most other dual PC streamers um, you know, route their audio and set everything up. But essentially, our gaming PC is a gaming PC. It literally just games. There's no Discord, there's no music player on there, and it's all sent um, to the stream PC via a capture card. Then we connect our microphone to our streaming PCs. Um, I have my microphone feed via voice mod so I can add sound effects and voice change effects, but you certainly don't need that for this tutorial. Happy Kraken X just uses her microphone. I just, I just think it's really cool. Um, but then we send that signal via our network to our gaming PCs. Simple, right? Yeah, let's, let's get into it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, past Beardly. Just before you get into it, um, we just want to say a massive thank you to Owned.TV, who honestly, without their support and, and partnership, these videos literally would not be possible. Owned boasts that more than 300,000 streamers on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook use Owned products, designs, and extensions. Owned.TV provides world-class stream designs, overlays, alerts, emotes, and more so that live streamers can provide incredible experiences for their fans. Whether you're just starting out and need the basics or a seasoned professional looking for a fresh new look, Owned offers hundreds of options covering a variety of styles and aesthetics. You are sure to find something that fits your unique taste, style, and brand. Make sure to use our affiliate link in the description below and use code KRAKENBEARD at checkout for a massive 50% discount whilst also ensuring the future of these videos and, and supporting the channel. Thank you. Okay, so if you don't have it already, you are going to need to download and install a free piece of software called Voice Meter Banana on both PCs. Uh, link is in the description below. Uh, then just scroll down and click on install. As I said, this software is completely free to use, but there is the option to donate to ensure the future development and support of this software. Once it's downloaded on both PCs, uh, just run the installer. Now, it's important to remember that you have to restart your PC after the install. It will give you a warning. Generally, that's just kind of like good advice is just restart your PC after messing with audio cables or drivers or, or anything like that. But anyway, you will need to restart your PC, um, both PCs, after installing this to ensure that it works properly. Once restarted, you can click on the playback devices in your Windows taskbar and just double check that it hasn't changed your PC's audio output to something other than what you usually have because I know that tends to happen. So if you've normally got speakers selected or if you've normally got your capture card selected, if you're on the gaming PC, uh, just, just flick them back over to that. Now open voice meter on either of your PCs. Um, in order for voice meter to work, you have to have an output device selected. If you don't already use voice meter, uh, just kind of select a, you know, your general PC output device. Uh, for me, I'll use Realtek digital output or speakers. Um, but if in if after we've done all this setup and you go to play a game on your gaming PC or play music on your stream PC or anything like that, and for some reason it doesn't play the audio or 
the um, it, there's some kind of clash because something else is using the output. You can just change it to something else. Um, and what I would say is if you see the device you're selecting um, listed more than once, select the WDM version. If there is any issues later on as well playing back audio, you can just try switching it to the MME version as well. Now on your other PC, do the exact same. Click on A1 and select a general output device. It shouldn't really matter what you select if you don't already use voice meter. We just need to do this in order for voice meter to work. From the PC that you're sending your signal from, so in our case, again, that's the streaming PC, click on hardware input and select your microphone. Again, if duplicated, use WMD. Now I'm using voice mod. So my microphone goes into voice mod, which is a piece of software where effects can be added to my voice or sound effects can be added into the mic line. Then voice mod outputs as a microphone device. So I'm going to select voice mod. Just quickly, voice mod is actually an awesome piece of software that you can actually try out for free with our affiliate link below again in the description. Uh, if you do decide to purchase it, there is a sneaky discount with code BEHAVINGBEARDLY2. While still on the PC sending the mic signal, in the hardware input column, select A1 and just deselect any other bus channels that are not in use. This is just the audio channel we're going to allocate to the microphone. Click on VBAN and turn VBAN on. At the bottom here, we have the output streams. As you can see, you can send multiple channels, but for now, just select the top one, select bus A1, as that's the channel we chose to assign the microphone to, give it a name, I'm going to call it Mike, and then we have to enter the correct IP address for the PC that we're sending the signal to. But don't worry, it's literally displayed at the top of the page when you click on VBAN on the other PC. Once you enter the IP, if there is a PC on that address with voice meter installed, you should see this green square. Now head over to the PC receiving the signal, and again, click VBAN and toggle on. It should indicate that one stream has been detected. Turn on the first incoming stream channel and make sure to give it the exact same name as the output stream from the other PC. So for me, it's Mike. Then enter the IP address for the PC sending the signal. Again, it's shown at the top of the VPAN page on that PC. Again, the green square should indicate that the connection is successful. You don't need to touch any of the options, but make sure the destination is set to virtual one. If there's any errors on the lines on either PC shown by red squares in this section, you can always try adjusting the net quality. Under virtual inputs, select B1. And again, deselect the others in voice me Aveo channel, which is the name that is given to the virtual one channel. This will assign your received mic signal to a virtual cable called VAIO. That can be selected as a microphone um, or microphone input on your PC. You can see it's working by the audio levels moving in the master section mixer in the uh, two virtual channels. Make sure when choosing a microphone input on your uh, receiving PC that you do always select VAIO and not auxiliary VAIO, as they are two separate um, virtual audio cables. Uh, if you want to make sure that this works with most programs automatically, um, without manually setting up for each game or each piece of software you want to use the microphone on, you know, on the receiving PC, or if you're like me and playing in Microsoft games and want to use voice comms and, and know how frustrating that is, um, you can just right click on the speaker icon in taskbar, click open sound settings, sound control panel, click on the recording tab, then right click on voice meter VAIO, click on set as default device, then right click on it again and select set as default communication device. 
This should make sure that your mic input from the other PC is set to the default device in all games or software, etc., unless you've manually changed it to anything else. Just to make your life a little bit easier as well, um, on both PCs, you might want to click on Menu in Voice Meter and click on Run on Windows Startup so you never have to remember to open the software um, and then be confused as to why you know there's no mic signal being sent or received. I um, I genuinely hope that we've kept this tutorial straightforward enough. I know, oh, trust me, we both know how frustrating audio can be to set up, and, and even when you know what you're doing, you know things can just sometimes not work, and it's and it's incredibly frustrating. So I hope this video has helped, and you can comfortably get your mics working on a on a two PC setup. As always, please do hit the like, subscribe button, do leave a comment. Let us know what other tutorials or videos you'd like to see in future. If you want to catch us live on Twitch, you can find us at twitch.tv forward slash happy X and twitch.tv behaving forward slash behaving beardly. This is really weird doing this with myself. <laughs> see you next time. Bye. <laughs> By me and... Okay, I'm, I'm over this. Right. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>